Welcome to this technology presentation brought to you directly from the Adobe Labs. Now, here in the Adobe Labs, we're always trying to find out new ways to enhance your performance, not only on the football field, but when you're using Adobe Photoshop. Now, what you're about to see is strictly experimental technology, but we thought you might like to see what we're working on in the labs. The first of these deals with painting. Now in this first demo, I'm going to show off two different ways we're experimenting with painting. First is the way in which paints behave. As you see here, I'm dragging out the paints as if they are wet and have properties of drying out and also have blending capabilities. So as you can see here, as I use my brush on these different colors, I can blend them in a whole new way here from this technology at Adobe Systems. So that's great. Of course, there's more because I also want to demonstrate how brushes might behave. So in the labs, they've created some brush prototypes that are really, really cool. Here you can see the prototypes here in this display to the left. Here's a flat brush, a pointed brush, an angled brush, and of course this fan brush. Now check this out. I have a Wacom and Tuos 4 with a special art pen. And I click here on the screen. Watch how this preview shows how the brush will change its shape with its bristles. And I can rotate this in 3D space to see how the brush behaves. And as I start to paint on the image, I can see that and interact with it directly. So taking these brush technologies Combining them with the paint technologies here from the lab, you can get some really, really interesting results. Now check this out. We took these technologies and gave them to some of the football players who were injured and had nothing else better to do. And we had them experiment with them on some images. And here are the results. So here's the original image, and here's the painting. Original, and another painting. So you can see they went through and applied these techniques to these different images to get these effects. Okay, now for another demonstration of some new technology from the lab. And this time we're going to get Scott Kelby to give us some assistance. Here he is as a referee, and he'd like to position himself into different referee poses for different calls on the field. He's going to use some new technologies from the lab to warp and distort himself into different positions. So let's bring these up. I'm going to go to my Layers menu, select my layer, and bring up this new technology of warping. Now in this new technology, you lay down control points on your image and say those are areas that I do not want to move. And then we can apply new control points onto the image and then start to bend and move Mr. Kelby in new and exciting ways. Now notice Mr. Kelby has been going to yoga classes recently and he has the ability to twist and move in ways you would not even imagine. Now of course Mr. Kelby wants to get into a new position so he's going to bring this over like this and check this out I can add new control points at any time and any hinging location within my image and get really amazing control over how the elements combine together just like this. We hit my enter key and we can see Mr. Kelby moving into positions like this. Now let's take this a little bit farther because Mr. Kelby helped us out with a little bit of a dance routine that he brought here today to show you. So as you can see here Mr. Kelby can do YMCA. Yes, yes, sing along now. But wait, a more practical use of this might apply to this project because Mr. Kelby was assigned the painting of the field lines in this field, but they're a little bit crooked. I'm bringing these up in size so we can see these. Let's apply that same warping technology to this field so I can straighten these lines. I bring up the warping technology, and then I can go in, of course, lay down my control points, and start to stretch the image to straighten the lines. Check this out. I can start to straighten them, dragging the particular points, adding additional points at any time until I get the lines straightened like this. 
one more point there. So any number of points to start to straighten these, hit my Enter key, and we can then see the before and then the after. So some great technologies for both warping images and, of course, painting on images. There you have it from the labs at Adobe Systems, technology to enhance your performance.